Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Mark Chalmers from Energy Fuels. How are you today, Mark? Excellent, Tracy. Mark, everyone's talking about rare earths. There's a buzz. It's for repeat, a 2010 bull market. And a lot of people are calling me and saying, what's happening with Energy Fuels and their systems integration business plan? Can you give us an update? Yeah, sure, Tracy. We've been extremely busy. And, um, you know, I recognize some investors say, well, where's the news flow? Well, the reason there's no news flow is because we've been so busy working on what will be the news flow in the not too distant future. We're absolutely focused on securing um, larger quantities of monocyte feed uh, for the White Mesa Mill. We're talking to probably half a dozen uh, groups around the world to do that. Um, we need more material. If we had more monazite sand right now, we could process it, make it into rare earth carbonate and send more to Neil or to others out there in the world who would like the rare earth carbonate. So uh, the number one focus is focusing on more monazite. Second to that, it's the steps that we're making to prepare ourselves for significant scale commercial separations. We have been working with Carister uh, over the last year or so at sort of a, a lower level, sort of lower scoping level. Uh, we plan to have a much more um, significant uh, arrangement with Carister in the not too distant future. Uh, but at the same time, we're not waiting for that because we're doing lab scale separations at the White Mesa Mill as we speak on a 24 seven basis with the chloride route for separation. We're also building a nitrate pilot scale plant that can run on a 24 seven basis as well. So um, there is no shortage of things happening at White Mesa when it comes to uh, the rare earth side of things. And we're very, very excited about the progress we're making. And we think 2022 is gonna be a very significant year for our company and the progress we make um, you know, going forward for full integration in due course. Well, so I have a question for you because I received a number of emails having to do with the White House announcing extending a $35 million uh, uh, amount of money to MP materials for their rare earth processing facility. And uh, a lot of people responded with, doesn't Energy Fuels already have this process in place? Can you comment on that? Well, the, the, that award, I, I believe, was focused on heavy uh, rare earth separation. And, uh, you know, the first step, at least for us, is, is, is the light separations. Uh, we, look, we talk to the DOE and the DOD uh, on a regular basis. They know what we're doing. Um, they know, they're excited about what we're doing, but I haven't quite figured out um, how they decide how to award funds. Because, Tracy, as you know, you know we're making some very significant strides forward with, with, with the rare earths. Um, but on the other hand, and, and I, I want to reiterate this, you know, we're focused on getting, um, getting there as quickly as we can. If we can get some support from the U.S. government and make sense, we'll take it. But we don't need U.S. support. We do not need subsidies to execute, uh, execute our strategy. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think that the, the key thing, reason we, we haven't received some of these awards is we've only been in this space for two years and the MPs and the um, rare element resources and the, you know, the blue lines and the Linuses have been uh, basically in line with the government well before us. So Mark, thank you so much for your update today. I hope you'll join us regularly to keep us updated on what's happening with, for instance, your uh, efforts towards securing a global supply of monazite. Tracy, it's always a pleasure and I look forward to future updates. And uh, as I said, I think 2022 is going to be a very significant year for our company, demonstrating the significant steps we're making going forward at a very rapid speed.